Salutations friends and welcome back to my channel. Yes, the next few videos are going to be filmed in here because the weather is so bad outside and I am out of town so the only time I can film is today. Um, today I'm going to do something a little bit different that I haven't done on my channel and I'm going to be doing a blind sniff of a discovery set. It's from Scent Stories. It's the 24 line that's really popular. It's gotten a lot of attention. And I'm really excited. They sent me the entire discovery set and I thought the best way to do this would be just jump in, dive in head first and do a blind sniff with you guys. Now I do have a list of all of the fragrances and little notes about it. If you're excited to do this blind sniffy thing with me and if this is the types of videos that you like then keep watching. <laughs> to the game with the fragrances from Scent Story uh, 24. Um, so since you guys probably already know what they are or who they are, what they're about, I'm not going to go too much into this because this video is already going to be long, but I am going to link some reviews below that go way more into um, really good reviews and what this um, line is about from Scent Story. Um, so definitely check out the links below. Now I'm gonna, not going to start in any specific order. I'm literally just going to grab from here, tell you about what they are on the list, and then let you know what I think. So let's dive into it. I'm going to sniff is 24 Elixir and Azure. Now, every time I hear Azure, I think of that kind of um, line from... Does anyone else play Mass Effect? Did you play um, the Shadow Broker DLC? Remember when Liara and Commander Shepard were kind of talking about Azur? That's kind of what I think about with this name. So I'm expecting something really sexy. Um, this is supposed to be timeless, elegant, embodied by the duality of this perfume. Um, it's supposed to be aquatic, marine, freshness, and central deep musky woody notes. Um, so it looks like it's got amber, musk, vanilla with some aquatic notes. So we will see. Now this video is probably going to be on the longer side. I'm really sorry, but I do want to do these fragrances justice. So, hmm, this is nice. Definitely getting an aquatic vibe of this. Definitely getting that marine vibe that you find from very popular aquatic fragrances. But there's like a nice warmth um, in the background of this fragrance. This is really, really good. What I'm going to do is at the very end of the video, I'm going to let you know my top three out of ten. Um, so I'm going to definitely let these dry down. But this one so far is really nice. when I was reading. Let me get up here a little bit. Hi. Hello. This is one when I was reading kind of the little blurb about it. I was excited because it has osmanthus in it. If you guys didn't know, that's a floral note I really like finding in fragrances because it's really unique. Um, it can be so much straw, so much hay, so much like deep, musky, animalic, fruity. It can really take on a life of its own depending on what it's blended with. So this is a uh, 24 Elixir Ambrosia. And this is supposed to be combines fruity notes. Osmanthus reminds them of apricots. I can see that from like the deep fruity note. Um, floral faucet, so it's got rose, jasmine, and orchids, and a sweet and woody base. Rave, radiant, comfortable, yet exotic. Very glamorous effect. So let's see how this one plays on the strip. And these strips, I just took cardstock. You know, I don't have any of those fancy strips like everybody else, which I'm very jealous of. Okay, this one's really cool. Immediately, immediately. I've never done blind sniffing on on this channel, you guys. Um, generally, I'm giving you guys like how I would talk to my essay when we sample things. I'm kind of one of those like overtly vocal, really excited um, sniffers. So yeah, whole other side from you guys. But this is nice. This has a spiciness and almost like an incense smoky woodsy base but there is something really light and fresh and clean and floral about the opening it's like two completely different things but balanced really really nicely this one is fantastic really sexy really really sexy and very well balanced i'm going to be excited this might be when i spray on my skin i'm excited about this dry down I like to like put strips on and then kind of let it sit on the strip for 
in 10 minutes. If you've ever been with me into a fragrance shop or if you ever follow my Instagram, I always post pictures whenever I'm out and about like with strips. I will like line up like five to 15 different fragrances, just strips and just stand there and wait for them to dry down and people think I'm bizarre. All right, this next one is the one aside from Ambrosia that I was really excited about. And it's, um, it's another elixir and it's Neroli. I like Neroli a lot. It's perfect for my environment. There's something really sexy and fresh and just really sensual about Neroli. I enjoy it. So this one is evokes nature and spontaneity. This combination of green freshness and a sensual powdery faucet makes it very singular and unique. The musky bait gives it a truly sensual effect. I haven't smelled many musky Neroli's, so I'm really excited. Um, another Neroli that I love is from Gallimard. It's the um, the leaves and flowers. It's like fleurs and fleurs. I can't pronounce French, but that one is just it's just Pettigrain and Neroli, and it is gorgeous. So I'm excited for this one. Let's see. Oh man. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna describe the opening that this reminds me of, and in no way is this a negative. It's actually a positive, but it's gonna sound negative. Do you remember fruit stripe gum? Do you remember that gum? This smells like fruit stripe gum. Like, like identical, like identical to fruit stripe gum, but like in a very sophisticated, sexy, wearable, not candy way. Oh, this so far is the winner. <laughs> I love this one, you guys. Okay, the base in this, even though it's like musky and deep, there is something about this that's giving this a really nice sweetness, but that's not the Neroli. It's really fresh, like really fresh, really sweet, but not like in a candy way, not in like a juvenile, overly feminine, youthful way. Very sexy, somewhat aquatic. I am digging that one. That is definitely number one so right, far. Next up is going to be Platinum. The Platinum is an oriental delicate mystery through an immediate dual intensity. Some green and aromatic freshness, scalptinum, juniper berry. I love juniper and fragrances. Um, combined with a sweet impression, sandalwood, vanilla, and amber. Now, I don't get much. Um, I already sprayed it on here. I don't get much femininity from this fragrance. And I don't think it's supposed to be like one of those fragrances that could be either masculine or feminine. But there's a sexiness to this fragrance. There's a depth to this fragrance and a complexity to this fragrance that's really nice. The reason why this is already um, spritzed is because I actually um, confused it when I was reading the notes with um, elixir, the, the elixir that's the platinum. And when I was reviewing this then, and I still mean this, if you guys have ever tried um, Tiziana Terenzi, if I mispronounced the name, I'm so sorry, um, I just reviewed it uh, like a week ago, and it was um, Kirk or Kirke. Again, I can't pronounce anything, and again, I'm sorry. But that was like a patchouli bomb. Like, it lasted on my skin over 24 hours. I was so impressed with the longevity. Had a little bit too much at times, but there's still something about it that's really, really nice. But it might be too much, too loud, too long. But this smells like a, I don't want to say a watered down version of that, but a more approachable, easy to wear version. Of that really sexy fragrance. And that's saying something because Tiziana Terenzi is not cheap. This definitely smells like a really high quality, expensive niche fragrance. But it's also very wearable and easy to understand. So I'm really, really liking this. I'm going to be interested to see how this dries down. So yeah these blind sniffs guys um this is the platinum elixir this one is a unique scent embodying an oriental leathery mystery frankincense amber and cedarwood give this a dry and mesmerizing effect i like dry fragrances I like dry fragrances i'm very very excited so let's see oh i can smell this one from here and it yes 
I'm really easy to please with fragrances when I'm sampling them, guys. I don't mean that in a bad way. I'm not at all dissing these fragrances, but if it's a fragrance I've tried for the first time, I get so excited. Even if I don't like it, I still get excited for it. I think there's only one or two fragrances where I was like, oh my gosh. But so far, I've been really impressed with these. This one is definitely, definitely got kind of like an animal, like a leathery um, kind of base. But in no way is it like, animalic in a way that's like like would turn your nose or like skanky it's very dry definitely dry is the perfect perfect way to describe this fragrance but there's also a touch of sweetness in this too which is really really nice I don't know if I like this one as much as the platinum but it's still a really solid fragrance the one I think that everybody knows um, and it's gold so this one is um, a bouquet of white flowers, which had me excited because it has Ylang Ylang and Jasmine, tagged in a powerful and tender, tender woody ambery effect. A very sensual oriental with floral and woody facet, faucets. A compliment getter. So let's see how this one wears. Again, this is the one I see everyone talking about it for years. So I'm excited to finally get my nose on this. If you guys are wondering, these people reached out to me and it was, they gen very generously offered to send me all these samples. They in no way wanted me to review them. They just kind of wanted me to explore and discover them. And I thought it would be nice to do it on camera, which is why I'm doing this as a blind sniff. If you guys do like these videos, I will do them more frequently because I do get a lot of people sending me samples and discovery sets. I'm never quite sure the best way to share them with you guys. So if you like these first impressions blind sniff videos of entire lines, do let me know in the comment section below. Okay. I see what all the fuss is about. This is so beautiful and sexy. Like this, there's like a, I get, okay. So this is supposed to have Ylang Ylang and Jasmine. Oh, I get that, but there's like a, like a spice, like peppery, woodsy, like warm, sweet note in the back of this. Oh man, yes, I, I get the fuss now. This is in close, close running for first next to the Neroli. I'll definitely want to compare those both in the dry down. I kind of have them set over here in my favorite to least favorite, but so far my least favorite still ones I really like. Um, so the next one is, we're just, we're just grabbing what's in front of me. We have Ice Gold. And this one is, where are you? Ice Gold. Fresh start around fruity notes. So it's got apple and red fruits. Then beautiful flowers and extremely sensual final effect with woody notes. And broxen and patchouli. A fresh char charisma. <laughs> Cannot read out loud, I'm sorry. Um, combined to a long and lasting powerful trail, an incredible performance for a fresh perfume. Now, being in Florida, being in humidity, being in this environment, freshies are just my everything. I prefer to wear heavier fragrance, but I really like a nice, good, solid, um, fresh fragrance. So this one... Hmm. I don't dislike this. I don't dislike this at all. It reminds me of light blue. Like, almost identical to light blue. But there's something about it that's a little bit more fruity than light blue. Just a touch. It's nice. I love light blue. But this reminds me very much, very identical to light blue. So we will see how how this one dries down. Very nice, very appropriate for this weather and my environment. Again, the little bit of fruitiness in the background is really nice, but that smells to me really identical to, uh, or almost a complete dupe for light blue at this point. Not a bad thing though. Next up is Platinum Oud Edition. <laughs> I'm really excited for this. All right, so let's talk about the Oud Edition, shall we? Um, the Oud Edition is Multi-dimensions with a woody, musky, and floral faucets, you may travel from big cities to the country, from desert to Mars, elegant and sophisticated. I like the idea of going to Mars, especially with how current events have been going. Mars sounds really nice about now. Let's 
if you will take me there. Um, I'm hoping for heavy on the oud with these, these two oud editions I've got. I want it, I want it to be oudy. All right, this is nice. Way safer than I thought it was going to be, but there's something very sensual, very sweet. There's a tiny bit of a bitterness in the background, but you definitely do get a, the, the, the beautiful oud note. But there's something soft and slightly powdery about this too. Just, just a touch. Just a touch. I want to see how this dries down. I like it. Do not get me wrong. It smells really nice, but I'm interested in the dry down for this one. This is the 24 Elixir, the gold version. So this one is, where are you? Ambery Woody with Spicy and Gourmand Faucets. It is an explosive cocktail of honey, sweet spices, dry and smoky woods. Notes, woods, smoky woods, smoky woods. This is a niche scent to the extreme. Okay, that has me excited. Let's see, I can kind of smell it. Or maybe it's just everything else in front of me. It's probably that one. Um, it I like this one. It reminds me of of Stash from Sarah Jessica Parker. Um, but there's something in this that reminds me it's a blend of something else and I can't for the life of me. It's something from Imaginary Authors. Um, I don't think it's a city on fire. Um, maybe Yesterday Haze or Slow Explosion? It definitely reminds me of a mix. There's a sharpness to this and a powderiness to this. And I love it when fragrances are balanced like that. There's something very sensual about this fragrance though. That's definitely really nice. And certainly not least is the 24 Gold Oud Edition. Now this one is sweet and spicy opening with cinnamon and nutmeg. I really like nutmeg in fragrances. It kind of gives it this like really nice spicy spiced feel to it, which is really sexy and pairs really well with a lot of different things. Um, it has with an intense heart around complex woods of all kinds. Very sensual through its oriental base, combining amber, vanilla, and oud wood. Now I've talked this about I talked about this before. Amber and vanilla, I think, are truly made to be together. But when you add them to fragrances, sometimes that's all you can smell, and they all smell the same. So I'm interested to see how this plays. Another really nice oud vanilla fragrance is cashmere uh, oud cashmere mood from francis kirk john that's way um less on the vanilla though the vanilla gives it a little bit of warmth but it's still a very woody um kind of like burnt campfire fragrance so let's see how this one plays on the strip that's really it's a lot safer than i thought it was gonna be don't get me wrong it's really nice the cinnamon's slowly coming out like little by little, but that's way safe. Not bad though, but not as exciting as some of the others, but still nice. So I've tried all of them and they've been sitting kind of on these strips for like five to six minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I've kind of ordered them in my least favorite to most favorite, but I do kind of want to tell you guys something really quick. And whenever it comes to reviews where people send me things, I'm always going to be unbiased and honest with you guys. So I want you guys to trust my opinion, even if I like an entire line and I don't have much, many negative things to say. However, it's not my responsibility to tell you to trust me. It is my responsibility to show you guys that you can trust me. So that's something I'm constantly always worry, um, working on and worried about and trying to just maintain my integrity as much as possible. The reason why I'm saying this here is because although there are definitely some hits and misses, the misses are still ridiculously beautiful fragrances. So I don't have much negativity to say other than it might work a little bit with something that's not too inspiring or too creative. Generally, all these fragrances are absolutely fantastic and I would be more than happy to add any of them to my collection. So this is a very positive review and I actually wasn't sure if it was going to be positive, but so far, all of these fragrances just smell like top tier amazing. 
And the ones that smell similar to other fragrances are fragrances that I love and are really popular. So I really have nothing negative to say based on these blind sniffs. Not so much, again, my mind can be completely changed as I wear them on my skin, uh, but overall just trying all these, they're fantastic. So the one that's going to be on the lowest is going to be Ice Gold. Um, and the only reason why this is on the bottom is because although it's got a little bit more of a green note and a bit of a flory undertones, this does smell very similar to light blue from Dolce & Gabbana. But it's still nonetheless a very nice, um, warm and bright, crisp fragrance that's really 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 pleasant i'll be definitely interested to wear this as it stays hot and humid in the summer Next up is 24 elixir azure now again this is a really nice refreshing crisp aquatic marine fragrance it does have that beautiful kind of depth and i think azure is the perfect um name for this fragrance because it does sound smell like something that would be a blue and aquatic and just something really agreeable. There's something safe about this fragrance. There's something very familiar about this fragrance, but it still smells really, really, really high quality. So I definitely like this one a lot as well, but it's not as inspiring as some of Next the others. This is a Platinum Oud Edition. Now this, after a while, kind of smells like a jammy, rosy oud fragrance. It kind of reminds me of Calico Free Rose from Aramis or Rose Flash from Towerville, which those are fantastic fragrances, do not get me wrong, but I smelled this combination before. Now, this still smells top-notch and really fantastic, and the prices of these are really nice. So, the only thing negative I have to say is this is just a very familiar scent that I've smelled other places. Um, and then the next one, where are you? Here we go. <laughs> the next one I have, I'm like, all oh, kind of in front of me, um, is Elixir, 24 Elixir Gold. Now this one, initially I really liked it. I was like, yeah, this is great, this is great. But the dry down makes it smell way more spice and it loses some of its brilliance that it had in the opening. Really, really beautiful. It kind of smells like a mix between an oud fragrance, like your run-of-the-mill everyday oud fragrance, and a uh, Jungle Le Elephant from Kenzo. So again, fantastic, fantastic fragrance. A beautiful mix of notes, a lot of complexity and depth. But it's safe, and it just lost a lot of its ma magic in the dry down. But still, nonetheless, really nice fragrance. This is 24 Gold Oud Edition. Another fantastic fragrance. I love the oud in this. I love the velvetiness and the warmth and the sweetness that the vanilla and amber has, but this is something I've smelled before. So unfortunately it would have ranked a lot higher if I didn't have a lot of other amber oud fragrances or vanilla fragrances because it smells, again, uninspiring because there's so many other things out there that smell like this, but this smells way better than most of those things, which is why it's um, number six or five, I think one, two, three. Yeah, six. Still really nice though. There's a warmth and a sweetness and a velvetiness about this. This is just really, really sexy and sensual. This Elixir Platinum. This is another one at the dry down. Um, it got less spectacular than it was in the opening, but this still is a very rock solid fragrance. I like the leather in this. Um, it gives it this nice kind of cool Animalic, under no, animalic note underneath everything. So this is a really nice leather fragrance. But in the dry down, you lose a lot of the other notes and it just becomes predominantly leather. Now I really like leather fragrances, which is why this ranked so high, but there are other fragrances out there that smell similar, maybe have more of a nice leather aspect mixed with everything else. But I do kind of like that it has this incense, smoky, warm background to it, which is very nice. I'm saying nice a lot. I don't mean to do that. I'm so tired, guys. It's been a very, very long day. Um, Next up at number four is Elixir Ambrosia. This, at the dry down, smelled so much nicer than the opening, and the opening was just really fantastic, so that's saying something. The Osmanthus gives it this kind of like fruity, straw-like, floral... Um, feeling to it, but there's still something cool and sweet and slightly jammy about this, but 
I've got to say, I like the osmanthus in this, and osmanthus is something I'm always searching for and trying to find, and this is a fantastic osmanthus fragrance. It's probably one of the most predominant notes that I smell in this, but there's just something about the balance of kind of like cool and warm and spicy and smoky in the background, and they're constantly playing against each other which makes this really, really nice and very exciting. Now we're down to the top three, and this was hard because these, all three of these are just really, really great. Um, number three, though, is Platinum. Um, I'm just kind of reminding myself of what it's supposed to smell like over here. It's supposed to be um, mysterious, delicate, dual intensity, soft green aromatic with combined with sweet impressions of sandalwood vanilla and amber this is just I don't know if there's any pineapple in this but I get kind of like a twinge of like the tangy sweet pineapple in the background but this is just a sexy 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 fragrance really loving the juniper in this mixed with the amber and vanilla. I love juniper in fragrances, but you really need to let the juniper shine. You don't so much want to hide the juniper, you want to emphasize it. And when I saw the vanilla and the amber, I was kind of worried that it would hide it, but it actually rounds it out and gives us this really beautiful base. So this is definitely, definitely a number winner. Number two is Neroli from the Elixir. And this was almost number one, but the reason why this isn't number one is because although it has that beautiful, uh, sweet, almost like fruit stripe gum feel to it, there's a bit of a soapiness in this at the dry down that makes it really nice, but kind of takes away from the beauty in the opening that I was really very excited for. Again, fantastic fragrance. This would be perfect in heat and humidity, a beautiful daytime fragrance. Do not get me wrong. You definitely get this strong feeling of neroli in this, but I do think that the kind of like soapy, cleansing, almost refreshing note in this took away from a lot of the excitement in the beginning, which is why it wasn't first place. But I don't find that that's wrong because obviously it's number two, so obviously I like the way this wears. But the opening was an initially almost a complete love at first sniff for me. And now that it's drying down a little bit, I'm not as completely wowed by it, but it is absolutely amazing. Number one, and for a good reason, is gold. Um, let me just remind you of this fragrance one more time. A bouquet of white flowers, jasmine, ylang ylang, with a powerful, tender, woody, ambery effect. Um, it's supposed to be um, a sensual oriental with woody faucets. And this one just completely hits it out of the ballpark. Is that the right way to say that? the amber in this and this kind of like well-rounded soft somewhat sweet almost vanilla-esque punny base makes the other notes in this specifically the woodsy notes stand out so strongly very wearable fragrance it's a very sexy fragrance and this smells like fragrances that would be like two three four hundred dollars while at the same time there's something very easy to understand about it as well I just could smell this strip all day. It's so, so nice. So yeah, the winner of um, the 24 um, from Scent Story, the, my favorite one is gold. So yeah, that is my blind sniffing of the 24 fragrances and all of their flankers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to um, play around with these samples more, wear them on my skin and see what really works. So I'll definitely be doing a more in-depth personal review on these fragrances in the future, so look forward to that. But I can say even the ones that were like, like number 10, number nine, number eight are still phenomenal fragrances and I was nitpicking a lot when it came to these but overall I'm really excited to try these and wear these more and I think that these are definitely worth checking out. Thank you to Scent Story for sending me these samples but again this is not a biased or sponsored video. They didn't even send me the sample so much to review. They just kind of wanted me to discover their collection so that was really exciting so thank you so much. Um, if you guys like blind sniff videos, if you want me to do more videos in this type of format, let me know in the comments section below and also by thumbsing up this video. As always, guys, I hope you're all happy and healthy and have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys like this type of content. But in any case, 
I'll see you again. Ouch. Bye. <laughs>